<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. A general reading for the collective. It is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take off bits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. So, last night I went out to the bar by myself. And some random older British man started talking to me. And I don't know if this is relevant or not, but I need to document this because it was so strange. Um, he started talking about like auras and stuff like that. And he's like, do you believe in auras? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. I was like, I'm into all that stuff. And he's like, tarot cards, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. I've never met anybody in my entire life that reads cards. I don't know anyone. Um, so it was very bizarre. <sighs> I won't go into details about his personal life, but he had just moved to um, US. Anyways, we started talking about like literally like everything, like about like spiritual stuff, like, I don't know, mediumship, ghosts, um, cards, the law of attraction, like everything under the sun, which is a very deep conversation to have with a stranger. Um, I told him about details about my like, personal not like where i live but you know what i mean <laughs> about my life it just it was very very strange it was like the deepest conversation i've probably ever had at least with a stranger right so um uh, it's very 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 weird so uh, shortly after he told me that his mother was a medium um one of my relatives i got a phone call from my mother and i knew it was going to be important because it was like 10 o'clock at night she never calls me at 10 o'clock at night and one of my relatives that had passed I hung up the phone with my mom and I looked at him and I was like, one of my relatives just died. I was like, that's really bizarre that um, you uh, were here when I uh, found that out, when we were just talking about mediums and everything. So really, really weird. I don't know if that's relevant and I can't figure out why I met him. And I told him, I feel like I met him for a reason, but I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, all right. For some reason I wanna shuffle these. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna light some incense. It's just like a really strange evening. It's like how, like, I, it's the only person I talk to, and it's like, I haven't gone out by myself in probably two years. Not to lie. No, I went out by myself in January once. But before that, it was like two years. Um, and the one person I talked to reads cards. Very, very strange. All right. Let's see what we got going on with the collective. General reading. Maybe not resonate. Take what fits. Leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. All right. I never usually shuffle this much, but for some reason I feel like it. It was weird because he told me that I should go home and ask. Um, why, why me and him met? I can't, I, I, I tried to, but I was drinking, so I, I couldn't, I didn't really read well, even if I had, like, one drink, but anyway. Alright, so I'm with the collective, what do we need to know, what's important? Five of Pentacles, left in the cold. Injustice. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. Okay, so the most important one to me feels like the Five of Pentacles. So what's up with this Five of Pentacles? What is up with this five of pentacles? I don't feel like the answer is in this deck. What is up with this five of pentacles? Okay. 
Okay. Ex lover. An ex lover left you in the cold? Or you feel like they did? some reason I just keep thinking about this deck so we're gonna pull one of these cards the enchanted map deck okay hold on oh, my nose is starting to itch Goblins. First, my phone just rang, and I have to edit this video. Yay! Oh. Goblins. Fear is an illusion. Okay. Goblins are born when you're wounded, and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you are unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-esteem, self-sabotage, and feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they respect the shadow of your own self or someone else. They represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they're leading you into the potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk within the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to heal you. Miracles can miracles can and do happen. Let go of negativity. That's very interesting because... For some reason, I really felt like I was supposed to pull from this deck. And it's like, this may be a fear, not something that's actually happened. You fear, right, because we have the wounded warrior from past experiences. You fear things not working out or being left in the cold. You fear having ex-lovers leave you in the cold. You want justice for that, right? But but is it is it fear of that happening that's that's in your head? Or is that what is that what's really happening right now? second so long i have to look this one up too the talisman <laughs> but you know what meeting that man made me realize out of anything else we talked about is the fact that the stuff that i believe in with tarot cards and all that is real because every once in a while i doubt it myself you know you're like is this legit but it made me feel like that was real and it made me feel like I really do know what I'm talking about. Because if I was able to sit, oh, I forgot to mention, we talked for four hours. If I'm able to sit at a bar for four hours and talk about this stuff with a stranger, you know. Also, I predicted something that happened with my life a few readings ago. Very, very strange. Literally like 10 days before it happened. Anyway. A lesson learned is truly crystallized as you earned wisdom. You have all you need for success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. <clears throat> it helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the best things to do and the best choices to make. You can't really, you, you really can't commit a mistake. <clears throat> Whatever you're, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Whatever your, maybe someone has something to say. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You, you've learned your lessons and earned the right to success. So, maybe you know you finally get the job or a significant other or whatever it is that you were looking for, right? 
and you start to self sabotage. Um, you're like this, this, this can't be real. This isn't going to work out. They're gonna fire me. They're gonna break up with me. They're gonna, they just want to use me. Whatever it is, but it's like those tests. We probably, no, we've probably, we've all gone through a lot of tests, right? It feels like this one isn't a test, but it's just bringing, bringing, bringing up triggers. And I've talked about that in the last few readings is being triggered by something new coming in. Um, but I mean, with this Goblin's card, Nine of Wands and Five of Pentacles, it's pretty obvious. It's like someone's assuming that it's going to go poorly. toxic relationship it's going to end up like every toxic relationship i've ever had right maybe that's all you're used to social media don't um healing right are you actually healed third party oh god here we go Yay! <laughs> what is up with this third party? Faded meeting. Hold on! This is the guy I met last night! Now, obviously you didn't all meet that guy last night. But you may meet somebody that's relevant. It doesn't have to be someone you talk spiritual about. It just could be someone that says one line of something to you that that sticks with you. Um, or you read a quote or something like that. Now, okay. What is up with this faded meeting and third party here? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what deck to use. this faded meeting and okay fine peaks of joy protecting treasure this may have something to do with meeting someone that makes you realize Your worth. Mm. Tell me more about this faded meeting. Let me ask you guys, what does this faded meeting have to do with the fear of being left in the cold? Seven of Swords, Deception. You might not be seeing something properly. Well, yeah. Um, this is a meeting. Okay. The Lovers. There's three people in this card, though. Or a two-headed person. What does this faded meeting have to do with fear of being left in the cold? Crossroads? A choice? Choice for what? Change. Palm tree. Palm tree. 
Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Stabbed in the back. So that card says shocking attack. It feels like someone, someone's just like waiting to be stabbed in the back. The hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Stop the pattern. All this, see, all this feels like is someone that's afraid of being hurt, right? But here's the choice is either you stay in that mindset of, oh my God, I'm going to get hurt or you don't. All right, any final things here? Because I feel like that doesn't really tell me a whole lot. The swans, soulmate, twin flame, the one, deep soul connection, the albatross. Also says feeling cursed, right? Clover, luck, happy coincidence. And temperance. Okay, I'm going to clean all of these up. And we're going to pull a couple more cards and then I'm going to be done. end up happening with this situation that involves the fear of being left in the cold it's going to actually happen with that situation storm warning the grass is greener surrender And reconciliation, okay. It just feels like this is this is about learning to chill and not worry about what's coming next and not worrying about or not assuming that everything is going to turn out poorly and not in your favor. All right, guys, I think that's going to be all. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe to keep me notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon or It's Simply Spiritual. And uh, my Etsy shop is It's Simply Spiritual. And I'll see you guys next time.